Well, welcome everyone. Let's look at the actual uh, cameras that um, the three major cameras out there that we use for energy photography. I can't stress uh, how important it is to get a instant type camera, otherwise it used to be known as Polaroid technology. Uh, this technology, after their bankruptcy many years ago, uh, moved into the public domain to a degree, or people bought some of it, particularly Fuji, who's been putting out the Instra Mini line of cameras for some time. And they have, I think there's six or eight different cameras uh, that uh, you can get. They all use the same film, but there's a lot of variances of what these cameras can actually do. Um, some have different lenses, some have all sorts of things here, uh, and uh, there is the basic camera, which is this camera right here. This camera right here um, is your lowest level uh, Fuji camera out there. They're $70, $80, um, but they're not enhanced. Uh, we do now have a charging plate you can put these on to make these um, uh, draw in to energize the camera to pick up more energy, which is critical because you have to be able to connect to the actual, uh, your target uh, for analyzing and for sending energy. And if you're using digitals, you're using um, anything really, even things such as blood and everything else are not as good as a photograph which holds energy. Now, blood is energy, but after time, the energy tends to go down, even though uh, blood uh, on paper does last a long time, but it is not superior to a good camera. So these are the most available out there and one of the most reasonable. Maybe you can find them inexpensive, then get your plate. We have now offered a whole line of cameras that you should check out. They're our premier camera and the best Instamatic uh, Polaroid type camera out there is a Lemo Instant. Um, they make some really nice cameras. They're well made. Uh, here's one that um, uh, was a special model in gold, my own personal model. They come with three different actual lenses. Let's see. This one is for close-ups. And, of course, uh, when you buy our advanced uh, film, uh, advanced pro unit, uh, you get a lens cover that has a tachyon on it. So you actually get that. Um, here is an actual, I guess this is the um, portrait lens is what they call it. Here again, you, you have lens covers that we've actually attached um, uh, the um, tachyons to to give them more energy. Charge them up. Uh, we've got some amazing photos, which I will be sharing in the first way. This is a fisheye lens, which is something I don't really like whatsoever. And, of course, you have your regular uh, lens that is on here. And, of course, um, the... Um, Lomo or uh, the Lomo instant uh, film camera and quality is excellent. And uh, of course, we have the tachyons all over it. And of course, on the back as well, tachyons and sacred energy symbols. This all is drawing in huge amounts of that informational energetic fields, which will then uh, be in your picture. And as such, you'll be able to have strong connections uh, to the actual person or thing you're working on, which could be yourself. And here's our classic camera we've been selling for uh, several years now. This is the um, Sharper Image camera. It's a really nice camera, and these uh, have uh, been available um, uh, at very low cost in some places. Um, and uh, we've used these for years, and this is a very good, I prefer this. I'm not a big fan of the Fuji. Um, and, of course, they're very easy to use. You know, they just open in the back, and you uh, line up the film, and this is what the film looks like. This is empty. Uh, this is what a film cartridge looks like, and the film would be here. It has this little yellow mark here, and you uh, all the cameras have this, uh, all three of them. You put the yellow mark to yellow mark. See that? And then you close it, and then if this was a new one, you would uh, hit the actual... Uh, you would hit the actual trigger here to take a picture, and it would pop out, and you would have the... Um, not a picture, but that would remove the protective cover there, and then you'd be ready to go. 
And of course, I like these. They look more like traditional cameras. You have your traditional trigger up here, your, your uh, snap uh, um, picture taker right there. You've got your viewfinder there. Um, so it's a real nice, sturdy camera. And we always, I've always liked these. And uh, these are available online as well. Uh, these don't come with the extra lenses. They're not as nice as this. And of course, this again looks like an older classic camera. Uh, you've got the actual trigger up here, the shutter, I guess you call that. And of course, it has some adjustments on the side and on the bottoms, etc. And explains all that of how they, and we can turn this on here. Let's see if we can get it. And you'll see the red light comes on. That means that, uh, and then it turns to green, meaning it uh, goes from uh, preparing to now it's ready to shoot. And then all you would do would be to uh, pull the shutter there. And then the film pops out over here. So, uh, and of course, um, there are little uh, techniques of how to use these, etc. Uh, we provide information on that. It comes with a little booklet in terms of from the manufacturer of how it's used. Let me turn that off. Uh, you turn it off here, and um, we have that taken care of. I particularly, um, uh, this is triggered very easily. These are super simple. You just push it right here, it pops out. And uh, these types. And again, this would be an uncharged one, but if you use our new inexpensive plate, you put that on there. And we're coming out with plates with everything. I mean, that's the key. The, and the actual serve as antennas. They serve as creating and accessing informational energetic fields. Subtle energies are accessed through this. You don't make subtle energies electronically. That's just not the way it works. Uh, so there's a whole different realm. There's the primitive ape realm of electromagnetism, frequencies, Hertzian fields, and then there's the very advanced uh, use of subtle energy fields, the etheric, etc. So, um, so basically, as I said, you turn it on uh, with it here. It pops out, and uh, the actual uh, trigger on this one is... Where is the trigger on this one now? It's right here in front... right there. And of course it has a flash. So you'd be holding it like this and you look through here and uh, you press right in the front here. They all work on batteries. And again, these things just open up. Here's what it looks like when there's no film in it. And then you put a cartridge in. You'll see it has the old yellow thing here. Uh, and as such, um, the yellow is right there and you line up the cartridge in it. Very, very easy to use. Um, now, these don't take great pictures. I mean, some people have been able to do uh, some amazing things with uh, these Polaroids. There are very large ones now that are big, big pictures. Uh, I guess you'd be six inches by four inches. You can get those as well. Um, there's a lot of different models that you can get for many hundreds of dollars, and it really depends on whether you want to get into this photography. Now, it's more than just when you're taking an energy picture that you're going to use in a radionic or subtle energy type machine, it doesn't matter what it looks like. You just take a picture, you hold it in front of you, you, you do it. It doesn't matter uh, what it looks like uh, whatsoever. You're not trying to make beautiful pictures or even keep them that long. Energy pictures should be kept ideally for only a few weeks, maybe a month. After that, your energies have changed. You should take another one. And how do you do that? Well, you can just take your camera and um, hold it right in front of your face like this and take the picture. Some of them have these actual little um, selfie mirrors on them. This one has a selfie mirror and you can see yourself in it and then you take your picture that way. Um, you just hold it in front of your face. Again, you're not looking for something you're going to be keeping. As a matter of fact, you're going to be destroying these. Your leftover pictures uh, should be destroyed. You should take them and get rid of them uh, so no people can use them. Uh, shred them, cut them up, whatever. Uh, just to get rid of those energetic pictures that are sitting around. So, uh, looking at the three cameras here, you can see now they all take good pictures, uh, basically for what we're talking about. As he said, the importance of having an energetic, uh, tachyons, uh, special scalar antennas, anti-radiation discs. These are all the type of things that help you get better pictures. Now, when we get into the actual advanced professional models where we start trying to uh, take pictures of spirits and so forth, you need to have the different lenses and you need to have better cameras such as this one. 
And then, of course, you go out to areas that have energy, uh, subtle energies in them. I've done this in Vortexes, Giant Rock. I did this and got a picture of the Integratron actually showing energy coming from it. Quite shocking. Uh, you can do this in many places. Go to graveyards. Take pictures of uh, places. And, of course, there's also, uh, which goes with those... Uh, with our professional camera, you get a uh, ghost or a spirit entity little device that creates an electromagnetic field that disturbs the regular natural fields. And as such, this tends to bother spirits or trigger energies to show themselves and also to um, uh, just cause a little bit of havoc. So it kind of upsets the normal by having strong electromagnetic fields. Now, electromagnetic fields are not spirits. They're not ghosts. You don't find ghosts by electromagnetic fields, but you find disturbances in the natural fields that then help these spirits or aggravate them to, to show themselves or to create phenomena. So you get, now there's several boxes. This is one of my older boxes. The boxes that come with the units are um, you just take them and place this in an area. Let's say you were going to uh, actually uh, photograph a particular grave area or a vortex. Well, you would put whatever box you have in that area next to it in front of the gravestone. You would just turn it on. All you're doing is putting a little electromagnetic field. That's all you're doing. And this, again, can cause phenomena to uh, produce itself by aggravating it, you could say. Uh, so... Uh, it's just as exciting and as simple as that, but everyone should be getting into spirit and energy photography. Now, you can start off uh, simple and easy just for your radionic machines. You know, all of our machines, or I shouldn't say all of them, but a large majority, probably 90% of what we offer, uh, does require you to have an uh, actual good photograph to put on it. It could be a plate could be a machine. It could be oils. I mean, there's so many things that we make, and we're making a whole, and have for many years, a whole variety of these any energy kind of discs for different purposes. Now, these discs, uh, you are uh, required to put your actual photograph on. Let me see if I have my one of these hanging around here. Um, an actual already used picture. Um, all of them require you, here we go, and all these cameras use this size of film. It's like a credit card size, um, and it requires you to put that on there, and then you actually uh, close, uh, and they come in little cases. You can use them like this, place these under machines. We're coming out with uh, many, many of these in the future, uh, but generally they come in a little kit like this. You can leave it in here. Really fantastic uh, engineering design I put together here of using um, this kind of, uh, it's, it's a nice technology. It's a whole little case uh, while uh, disks are becoming passe now uh, with people just using downloaded files, uh, which is not something I particularly love, but, um, but that's not the point. This isn't really a CD. It's an energy and the energy is there. And behind it, we've come up with a new process of putting in very unusual data into that that triggers the image. But you put your basic picture on here, and you're done. Now you're sending that energy directly to whomever is in the picture, and uh, so forth. So these are fantastic developments. These are also... Uh, able to be produced inexpensively, so it aids everybody in being able to have the tools they need. Um, and of course, they are like everything that Radionic Tech makes. Uh, it is a lifetime tool, plain and simple. So you're going to be using it for a lifetime. It's a small investment. And these are things that um, benefit you, empower you for the rest of your life. Uh, do you get that from a $300 pair of shoes or fancy bag or whatever you spend your money on? Well, these are tools that you have to build your life up with. And as such, it's an investment that pays off a thousand times uh, the price, not to mention uh, these are things you use all your life. Life is about dealing with energy all the time, not just occasionally. So, hope you enjoyed that, kind of seeing all the three. Do check out our camera page now, where we show all the cameras and the prices. We have dramatically reduced the cost of some. You can now get a camera with a charging plate and everything else uh, for under $100, I believe. So, what a fantastic opportunity is that. Now, there's no excuse for 
anyone not to get one of our particular um, empowerments. And we aren't really selling these, but you can get an unempowered one of this, which is a much better camera, basically. You can get a, 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 a one like this with a plate uh, for, as I said, under $100. Now, you really need to do this to get the results that you desire and stop cutting corners, stop printing out digital pictures, uh, which do not function in the subtle energy world well. They're not good, and you're reducing your empowerments by doing that. And why would you do that? Uh, people buy machines for hundreds and maybe even thousands of dollars, and they don't have a camera? I mean, this is insanity. So uh, you're not doing it right. You're not going to get the results you want. So if you're not getting results or your results aren't good and you're using digital, I'm going to print it out for my printer. It's a good dot matrix. I got it in 77. Uh, the whole idea is that uh, this is all nonsense. So follow the proper procedures. Get the proper uh, high-level tools that Radionic Tech offers, and you will soar. You will be the one who uh, prospers in the coming years uh, and will be one of the um, people who can manifest at high levels. And don't think you can cut corners. You can't cut corners. Buy cheap stuff. Buy garbage from people who are Satanists and who build really junky stuff. And what do you expect to get from that? Well, you're going to get lots of bad energies, which will ruin your life. Go with people who are positive, who are out there helping people, uh, who are trying to assist mankind in the bigger picture. Work with people like that. But not only that, work with people who are not just trying to make money, but are trying to change the world and bring the next level of technology to you, the next level of manifest, uh, manifesting technology. And who is that? Well, that's Radionic Tech and Dr. Thor. Until next time.